everyone, welcome to today's video. I saw this eyeshadow from Clinique and I was like, I need to play with that. So I created this look today. I'm also using the new palette from The Balm, which I think you're gonna love, I honestly do. These kind of colors are a bit out there for me, so I struggled a bit with like blending things, just, yeah, this isn't me teaching you, this is me doing it and you just, you know, so get ready with me. So please don't think I'm teaching you, you're probably better at makeup than me, so you can just take the colours and do it yourself, but I'm still getting used to like my eye shape and blending, I find it really hard with darker colours, but I tried my best. So I really hope you enjoy it, let's get ready with me. So to start off with, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the colour Eden, this is my favourite thing to prime my eyes with, I love the fact it's like skin colour so it gives you a really nice base. And then I'm going to use my Meat Matrimony palette from The Balm and I'm using the colour Matte Lopez first. And then I'm going to use the colour Matte Kamar and I'm just trying to build up the colour in my crease. I find it so much easier to use kind of a lighter colour and then work my way darker just adding more and I'm focusing this on the outer third and then dragging it through the crease. So I'm just adding more of that Matte Kamar colour and blending it with a fluffy brush. I'm then going to use Matte Reed, which is a dark brown, and pop that right in the outer corners. I'm not going to drag this into the crease too much, but that is where I'm going to kind of blend it into. So I'm just going to make sure everything's kind of blended together and smooth and it doesn't look lumpy or anything if eyeshadow can look like that. And then it is time for the star of the show. So this eyeshadow from Clinique is so beautiful, and I'm putting this in the inner corner. It's called Petal Pop Number 8. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges and I'm going to line my eyes with the Pretty Easy Clinique Liquid Liner, it's so good. And use the Fleur and Fabulous Lashes by Fleur de Force. So for my base I'm using my Naked Beauty Balm, I think that's what it's called. And this will just give me a nice kind of illuminated base. And then I'm going to use my Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation. So I've only used this probably twice and I'm really impressed so far. I did think I'd mention my watch because I'm waving it around this video. It's from Clues and it's an all black one and it's so nice. I will leave a link below if you'd like because I have had some questions in previous videos. I'm adding some light to my face with my MAC Mineralize Concealer and these come up so much lighter than other MAC concealers so I got NW20. And I'm just blending this in with my beloved Beauty Blender which is, this one's slowly dying. I'm going to have to get a new one soon. It's making me so sad. <laughs> Next up I'm using my Sephora Setting Powder. I love this and I kind of sweep it under my eyes as you can see I'm like full on doing a sweeping motion and this just helps to brighten and reduce creases which I definitely don't want. So for the rest of my face I'm going to set it with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium and I'm using a smaller brush so it's a bit more precise. For blush I'm using this Kiko Blending Wave which is a nice pinky colour and can add some rosiness to my cheeks. On to bronzer, I'm using one of my favourites, which is by Avon. This is in the shade Medium Riviera, and this is such a nice eyeshadow as well, just for like a natural look, and it's matte. So on the lips, I'm using this Clinique Pop Lacquer in the shade Wink Pop 05, and it's just a really nice glossy lip. Of course, I cannot forget my brows, so I'm using my Soap and Glory Brow Archery Putty, which is in the shade Dark Chocolate. I really like this. It's just really easy to sweep on your brows really, really fast, and it looks like you've gone all out with a pomade. On to my mascara of the moment, which I really struggle to say, is the Voluptuous False Lash Effect from Max Factor, which I love. I'm putting it on my bottom lashes, and here's how everything looks together. So I really hope you liked it. This is the final look. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks really nice and I love the lashes. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye.